Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I thought we can continue our little beginner scripting series with this video on teleport service. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can utilize the teleport service to teleport you to a, another game, whether it's another experience of yours, or teleporting you to someone else's experience. Now, I think um, using someone else's experience, you must you must have the third party teleports activated. So, if we go here to game settings, go to the parity. Um, I'm I'm going to turn on HTTP requests here. So, um, I don't know if this will do anything, but I usually always have HTTP requests open for any type of script that I use. I'm um, allow third party teleports. Um, so HTTP requests will allow you allow the game server to issue requests to remote servers and third party teleports by enabling players can be teleported to other games. However, teleports between PlayStation and between games owned by the same creator will be permitted. So basically, once you have that, you're all set to go for trying to utilize the script. Now, first things first is you want to make sure that you have everything. Correct. So we're gonna get a part right here. I'm gonna take this part and I'm just gonna anchor it. I'm gonna put the King Collide check box. And inside of this part, um, we're just gonna name. We're gonna put inside this part. Um, we're gonna put in a normal script. Now I want you guys to follow the script very closely because there's a lot of information you don't want to miss on what I'm giving. So basically, we're gonna start off with local tele service. The so local teleport service equals game it service teleport service. So basically this is just getting the service of the teleport service. Now basically what we want to do next is we want so now we have the teleport service here. Now we want to do local um the place ID is equal to whatever the ID of the place that you want to use. For this, I'm going to be utilizing Arsenal. So if you go here, so you paste place in your paste in your place ID. I'm using Arsenal's place ID teleporting to. And now we're going to start calling the function. So script up parent dot touched. So when we touch it, we're going to connect that to a function. And basically, after we connect that to a function, we're going to set this to hit. And then local player is equal to game dot players. Game dot players. Game dot players and get player. Get from character hit dot parent. So if we get the player, it then basically next we're gonna do teleport service, teleport the place ID, and we want to teleport the player. So basically, what this is gonna do is we have the local teleport service equals game get service teleport service. Basically. From here we have the local place ID, which is equal to the place ID that you want to use. Now, once we touch the part, we script the parent that touch connect function hit. Now we're getting we're defining player. Um, it's game dot players. We're gonna get the player from character of hit dot parent, and we're gonna teleport that player to our specific place ID. Now, once this is all done, you must save your game. Because you cannot test this out in Roblox Studio because it won't let you teleport between places within Roblox Studio. You must go ahead and switch over to your game. Basically, what that means is we're going to move over to the game. So we're going to spawn in on the game. So I'll see you guys when we're over in the game. Okay, so now we are over here at the, um, the game where we're going to use the utilize the teleport server. Now, teleporting to this place, Arsenal, I think it's going to kick me from the game because I don't know what they use or anything. 
But this is basically a teleport service. You use this teleport service to teleport you to other games, and you can utilize this teleport service for many different things, which we'll get into once we see if it works. Basically, now we're teleporting to the other game, and you can see right here, um, disconnected. You are kicked from this from this experience. Teleport failure. Teleport data missing. Please rejoin. So now we know that this is working, and this is basically how you teleport to other games. So now if we move back over here into Roblox Studio, we can definitely see that our script is now working. We have our teleport script right here, which is which is teleporting us to Arsenal, which means that it is working. Now there's there's ways that you can utilize this teleport service by teleporting you to other games that are made by you. Um, and basically, because if you go into game settings and you go down here to security, um, places owned by this game's creator will be permitted. Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to find a game ID of a game that I own, and we're going to try teleporting there to see if it still permits that error. Now, I don't know if that error has to do with anything about data being stored. Um, so first things first, I want to show um, basically where I'm getting all of this stuff. Okay, so I'm over here on the Roblox Creator documentation, and basically right here you have everything about the script, where it has teleport service, a game get service, teleport service, local replicated storage, game get service, replicated storage, and then it's just using the teleport GUI. Um, so it's um, teleport service, teleport GUI. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with the setting of data. And I always recommend the uh, docs. Um, you can always use this doc. Oh, right here. So teleport data, um, local teleport data, teleport service, get local data. Um, so basically right there. Um, I think you might utilize that for teleport data. But that's basically where you can find a lot of the um, teleport service scripts. If you um, like these tutorials, you want to find more stuff that you are probably having trouble on, you guys can definitely check out the creator documents because that's where all these um, videos are going to come. It's right through um, creator documents um, for the develop for us developers. Okay, so right here, basically what I just did is I just basically pasted in one of my uh, games and to see if it still says anything about teleport data. So I'll basically save the game and we'll go back over to the game. Okay, so I'm back in the place, and we're basically going to use this part that we have right here and teleport us right to my other game. So it is teleporting us right now. And you can look right there, and right now you definitely can see that there is no um, error saying that we are kicked. Uh, there's no teleport data, which means you can teleport freely when in your own games. Now, obviously, these are my Bloxburg um, asset ideas where I have this brand new door that I created right here. Um, and then I have like these beds over here, um, some of these new furniture ideas and stuff. Where it's and that's good because a YouTuber came over and checked out my um, assets. But we're going to head over back to Roblox Studio, and basically, that's all I wanted to show for you guys today. Okay, so basically what that means is that um, you can teleport freely within your own games using the teleport service. I do not recommend teleporting to other games if you do not know about um, whether they have teleport service enabled or teleport data. If you don't know anything about teleport data like I do, I do not recommend teleporting to other games. Now, you can utilize this with a start place and in the next video that I'm going to post about scripting is I'm going to show you guys basically lobbies and teleporting in between lobbies to a game. So that way you can tell what is going to happen when you teleport from a start place and you join in from a game that has a start place. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this did truly help you, I do have a Discord server. The link is in the description. And I'm always accepting questions whether you have on your scripting stuff. So if you have any errors that are prompting between these scripts, if you want to know more about the scripts, I'll have my Discord server linked in the description. You can also find it in the comment section if you can't find it in the description. Any Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye now!